Okay, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to the today's Restaurant News and Networking 11 o'clock group. This is December the 8th, 2023, next to the last meeting for the year. And uh, we are a group of restaurant vendors who are here to help each other grow our businesses and to help any restaurant owner, manager, or chef with any issues they might have uh, in running their business. Uh, we encourage you to give us a call if you have an issue you'd like to discuss or we'll come to the meeting. And if you'd like to do that, give us a call at 561-620-8888 or go to our website at trnusa.com and go to our uh, YouTube channel, which is Today's Restaurant. We've got videos on there of over 300 uh, going back to 2018. And if you're really adventurous, Terry York has a presentation on that. And she's going to kill me for saying that. <laughs> uh, so welcome, everybody. Uh, I want to introduce uh, the two new people who are here today. Amber. Hello. Good morning. Can good morning. Sometimes I, yeah, sometimes I feel that you don't that you don't get to be. Well, just so, tell, tell, yeah, just tell us who you are, what you do, and how we can reach you. My name is Amber Pernian. Uh, I work uh, as the owner of a construction company that dedicates. You know, my main focus is uh, I do restaurants. Um, you guys can re reach me on my phone seven eight six five two one two seven five zero. If you want, I can, you know, like, um, give you like a little like brochure of me, and then you will find out the web page because the name of the company is M Dennis Construction. And since you say that, you know, it's easier later, you will pass uh, down the information. And so, what else I'm missing? Uh, are you uh, a general contractor that works specifically in, in South Florida, or do you venture out? I may I basically work uh, in South Florida, Miami, for Lauderdale, you know, like all day, like like Miami Broward area. You come into Palm Beach County? Sometimes, yes. Okay, good. Just want to get an idea so that uh, when people refer business to you, the, the, you know, we have the uh, geographic area that you work in. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, and we'll we'll double back to you after everybody's finished. So, so you can add anything or uh, change what you – or add to it. And, yeah, uh, perfect. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for coming. And uh, Baja, how are you? Good, yeah, good. How are you? Good. Tell us who you are and what you do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, I just want to say hello, everyone, and happy Friday. Uh, thank you so much for having me today. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Baja Arul. I'm a commercial risk advisor that specializes in restaurants and catering services. Uh, that is my niche there. Um, commercial insurance, you can think anything of, you know, property insurance or general liability or work <clears throat> you know, anything um, that has to do with risks, so risk management, risk advising, all that good stuff. Uh, I currently work with the Holmes organization. We are located out of Jacksonville, but we do business all around Florida and all 50 states. So, you know, referrals from Seattle, Washington, California, all the way to New York, all that good stuff. Um, we've been around since 1989, I think I said, and we have in the agency over 300 years of insurance experience. So I do have a lot of heads to go to for you know, any any nitpicky type of questions where I mean, risk is one of those things you can't really quantify, but you, you can try your best, right? So we, we kind of manage all of that. Um, you can reach me at 585-435- one six five five or just you know go on our website theholmesorganization.com and kind of see our information there again thank you so much for having me and i look forward to hearing from all of you yeah thank you uh so let's start our regular intros let's start out with andy good morning good morning good to speak to you guys again i'm andy rice with quail systems quail systems provides disinfection technology for primarily for the foods that are used in restaurants. So imagine a, a produce wash sink to clean the lettuce without chemicals. We use ozone and nanobubbles 
So you, you have clean, fresh lettuce with no chemical residue, no cost of chemicals. The equipment creates the ozone as needed where it's needed. Recently, we've been having a, this last week recently, a lot of success with our ICE units. And one very large international organization told us a story, said we had a unit in Mexico, an ICE machine, it was so dirty, it had stopped working. We had to get it clean. We put, they cleaned it, they put our equipment on, they said, new protocol, clean it every month. At the end of a month, they went in and the tech said, it looks like it did when we cleaned it. Nothing dirty, no need to touch it. They came back a month later, same thing, just as clean. Third month, same thing. So this is a no brainer. We're putting them in every restaurant internationally for this organization around the world over the next 18 months. So this can make a huge difference. In fact, I think Howard, you sent me an update on some people that had had some challenges with this recently in the news and very, very applicable for a huge group down to an individual restaurant like that. So Andy Rice, our number is 864-349-3421. Love to talk to any people you know that need help with disinfection technology. Okay, great. Thank you. That's a big deal. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, it's it, it's been a good week. Uh, That's a very good story. week. Great story. Yes, it has. Well, that's good news. Uh, Terry Lena, welcome back. Thanks. I'm glad to be back. This uh, work keeps me so busy traveling. I'm actually not going to be traveling for the rest of the year except for fun stuff. So I'm excited about that. I'm Terry Lena, and I work for Workwear Outfitters, and we manufacture innovative workwear apparel for multiple industries. So we could fit your restaurant from the front of the house to the back of the house. You can reach me at 720-244-9. Thank you. Okay. John McCabe, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Glad to be back. I've been kind of away for a couple of uh programs we had a distributors meeting last last week in uh tampa and it went very very well so i'm john mccabe i can be reached at 401-368-6406 i work with carpa johnny we're a large manufacturer of uh gelato ice cream and pastry equipment we're starting to assemble equipment now in north carolina so it cuts down on the lead time for us to supply you and we also have educational programs for teaching how to make ice cream and uh, gelato in North Carolina and in Chicago. And we are uh, looking at doing another one in Spanish down in Miami. So uh, I am available. Anyone wants to uh, develop a frozen dessert program, I'm available. Have a great day. You, you know, John, you, if you can, you should uh, send us a schedule of those classes that you're doing so that we, okay. can, uh, we can help you publicize that. That'd be great. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, terrific. Uh, John Bunn, good morning. <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is John Bunn. I'm with the BH Bunn Company. We manufacture the bun tying machine for over 100 years now. Um, <clears throat> with the industry moving away from plastic items, uh, we have 100% cotton twines. Um, they're all fully environment friendly. We've been using those for years, um, but we can help with the restaurant takeout food, whether it's for the third party deliveries that now admit to 80% of the drivers uh, do eat the food or they tamper with it, to when the uh, customers uh, wanna take it home. Uh, you don't have to use the plastic bags. All you do is tie it. It's a nice secure knot, uh, cannot be duplicated by hand. Uh, give us a call at 800-222-BUN. Uh, our website is buntyco.com. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, John Marinick, good morning. Good morning, John Marinick, Marinick Food Service Consulting. Uh, we focus on the design and consulting for different restaurants. Um, if you have a restaurant that needs to be designed, we're the people to call. 954-817-1183. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Stephanie and Mark. Hello. Mark may have had... Oh, he's there. Hello, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> so Mark and I are brilliant computers. Um, we are a, a technology services company. Um, we help with business, email, hosting and support, hardware and software, implementation and support. And really just any questions you may have about business and IT, um, just give us a call. Uh, the best number for the company is 561-877-1119. And then Mark's email is the best email, M-A-R-K at brilliantcomputers.com. And after the new year, we're going to have some updates in our website as well, uh, brilliantcomputers.com. Thanks for having us. And I hope everyone has an amazing holiday season. Thank you. You can say something, Mark. Thank you for having us. Always proud to be here. Um, interesting group. I'll go by with whatever she says, and it all sounds good. <laughs> uh, 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 can you hear me? Uh-oh. Yeah, we can hear you. Why? Because my whole screen just disappeared. Okay. Oh, I mean, uh, Ooh, so I, thought, I thought I lost everybody. Okay. Randy, good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, perfect. Yep. My uh, my car my car and I are having a love hate relationship today. Um, Amber Baja, welcome aboard. Nice to meet you, Baja. We need to talk because you got that five eight five number. I'm originally from Rochester. Um, no way. <laughs> Heartland Heartland Payroll. We are a Fortune five hundred payroll company. And we handle everything from startups to multi-IDs and acquisitions. Uh, Baja, I am always looking for commercial partners. We do not sell insurance like our competitor friends who do all of everything. We specialize in payroll and HR. So let's talk afterwards. Uh, I can be reached 585-622-2993 and uh, have a great day. Okay, thank you. Uh, the three amigos are here today. Okay. That cracks me up. The three amigos love it. <laughs> Which one are you going to start us off? I think Chris is coming on. There he is. I uh, can start us if we want to, Kevin. So, uh, strategic supply chain partners. Uh, you guys have heard us spiel a million times now. We function as an outsourced purchasing department for our clients. Uh, work on a contingency basis, basis uh, routinely save clients between an 18% on what they're paying for uh, product uh, from distributors and manufacturers. Um, and the way we do that is we negotiate better distribution agreement for them. We negotiate uh, manufacturer di direct pricing. And uh, really what we do is we understand how the, the back end of the business works, where all the money flows and how to uh, make sure that our clients aren't getting taken advantage of by the um, world of food distribution. Kevin, anything you want to add to that? No, that's great, Chris. Appreciate it. John, you want to add anything? Yeah, I, uh, John's restaurant trivia question. You ready for this one? <laughs> what famous fast food restaurant got its start as being a hot dog stand? Nathan's. Yes, I was going to say that. I lived nope. in New York. I've been to Nathan's. Nathan's has always been hot dogs. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Okay, wait a second. Famous fast food. Wait a fast minute. food restaurant got its start being a hot dog stand in 1937. Sonic? Nope. McDonald's? No. Yes, we have a winner. The McDonald's brother started out as a hot dog stand. I remember that watching their background. Yep. <laughs> That's your trivia for today. Also, I had a quick question. Do you guys think 2024 is going to be a great year for business or not? I have a really good feeling about it. I'm just going to say that. I just have a good feeling about things moving. And after having a baby this year, I just want to say my answer is I have a good feeling about this year. One of the strongest markets to look at is advertising dollars. And my billboard business is booming. Look out for 2024. My metal craft was up 32% in 2023. Holy cow. Yeah. So those are the strong indicators that business wow. next year 
Chris, I'm thinking you're thinking the same thing, right? You know, it's an interesting time in restaurant business. There's lots of sectors that uh, very well could do great next year. Uh, I think the... Um, I think if inflation stays under control, uh, I think if interest rates uh, settle down, um, uh, the restaurant industry could, uh, could do well. But if there continues to be economic uncertainty, the problem with restaurants is, is we are discretionary spend. My experience is restaurant dining out is the first thing that people cut out of the budget. Actually, the first thing they cut out is the extra cocktail, the appetizer, and the dessert, and they stick with just an entree. And then the next step is they cut it all out altogether. So, you know, uh, we'll see. I'm guardedly optimistic, John, is the way I would I, I would put it. Uh, okay. I've been optimistic in the past and got burned. So, <laughs> so Chris, with that, with let, that let said, you know, in, interestingly... I'm, I'm talking to somebody. I'm sorry. Is it? Let, uh, let me throw a concrete data point into that one. The this big group that is coming on with us. I'm not going to name them, but their first focus is for us to install in all of their new locations in their international division. I said, so how many is that going to be? He said, a thousand, maybe more next year. We had a really good growth year. We beat our expectations last year. We expect at least a thousand new locations. Awesome. Not, not even okay. in the United States. So that Which is, is a business. That's someone that's already calculating how much money they're going to spend building these locations around the world. So well, I just read an article about McDonald's. They're looking to add on about, I believe it was eight thousand new locations. Yeah. And they're and they're starting a a, a spinoff. Yep. And it's going to be a coffee a, a coffee shop, you know, like, like the old coffee cafe. shop in New York, Co coffee cafe, right? Mick Cafe. I mean, the fact that y'all are talking about expansion just in general, I mean, that's, I, 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 I'm grateful to hear those type of stories. I think we heard about things shutting down for so long. That's like a breath of fresh air, even if it's McDonald's. Yeah, El Polo Loco is looking to expand and get back in the Atlanta market and expand into about four or five other markets. And In and Out Burger is is moving further east. Thank goodness. They're That'll coming. make a lot of people very happy. We had one near us in California, and people like lined up around the block for that yep. place. Yeah, In and Out is number one as far as everyone's concerned. California, that's the first thing I do. When I get off that plane, my son picks up right to in and yep. out. My friend does it every time and posts a picture of himself. I know when he goes to California because I see that picture of him with an in and out. I do, I do that to White Castle in New York. I pay for it, but I. Yeah. <laughs> so do I when I go up Midwest? If anyone's ever in the Bay Area, you need to go to Soul Food. It's um, There's two locations in Sonoma County, and it's Puerto Rican food, and it is so. <laughs> that is the place I'd always go when we were driving up the one one. Let me uh, get to Terry Lena before she, 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 her service goes down. I'm sorry, Terry Lee, Terry Ark. Hello, sorry about that. <laughs> um, my name is Terry. I'm, I'm the owner of Creative Business Impressions. I am a 20 year veteran of the promotional products industry. So, what I do is I can help you to keep your business in the minds of your customers by using products, uh, everything from banners to table covers to uh, little odds and ends, anything that could have anything to do with a, your restaurant um, and a, a, a logo placed on a product. Uh, so cups, mugs, travel mugs, napkins, um, and I love dealing with uh, companies that do catering because we can come up with some really cool ideas. So uh, any time that you want to do something that you want to put your company logo on, please keep me in mind. Um, I am located in Florida, but uh, because of the internet, we can do everything uh, all over the country. So my phone number is 561-308-1393, and I'll put my information in the chat. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
Pam, are you with us? I don't. I think she's dropped off. Uh, uh, TRN Terry. Oh, hello, everyone. Happy Hanukkah. Happy uh, today, last night. Yes, last night. Uh, first night, and then uh, happy holidays. Um, I'm the one to go to if you want to know where something's opening up. You want to know in Florida, Georgia. Um, I'm getting more and more information. So I'm is never without somebody asking a question. Well, where? And, I'm just yeah I don't know what that noise is and it's like I'm I, I'm trying to make a song out of it but it's not working anyways so <laughs> I got anyway it. if you want to know when and where that was you no 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 I was <laughs> look at John my John Marinick um mm. anyway so if you want to know what's opening when or where it is uh, 62, well now, uh, 80 leads a month, and it's every month, 12 reports, $4.99. As of January 1st, it goes to $8.99. The reason, there's a lot more information, a lot more uh, things coming in, permits that we've gotten a hold of, people that we have to make sure that we have enough staff that can cover all this, and it's a lot of work. So uh, you'll get it in an Excel spreadsheet, sort it any way you'd like. Anybody wants a sample, Terry at trnusa.com. Thank you. Farewell and amen. <laughs> All right. Uh, did I miss anybody? Uh, Amber, you want to uh, double back now and add anything that you might have missed? Um, I'm not really good at this. Like, I get nervous, so that's why I'm low. I prefer, like, just write the information later. That's the reason why I'm... <laughs> it's okay. I just want to give you the opportunity to make sure that we all know who you are and, and what you do and how to reach you. So thank you Amber, for coming. What, Amber, what size jobs do you do? Amber, you're on mute. You yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to mute myself. Um, so, in, for example, right now I'm doing three restaurants at Dolphin Mall here in Miami. Uh, that will be opening, I think, in like uh, June, July next year. Uh, we did uh, like we end at the at the beginning of this year. We end a batch in Fort Lauderdale. I don't know if you guys ever like passed by over there. Um, we my early we we might only do restaurants. We sometimes do high end residential, uh, or uh, or other kind of things. But my early is like restaurants. We did the Oak Aquatic swimming pools here in Miami. We have four, no five. Sorry. So we did those projects too. Um. Uh, we have you know like um, in the company is being. We changed the name in 2020, but we've been around since already, I think it was like 18 years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, my husband is the GC. I work uh, more in like, what is, you know, the financials, the accounting, uh, the, you know, dealing with the clients, the pay applications, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and he's the one that has actually the, you know, the, the knowledge in the, in, you know, like in the job side per se. Um, I don't know if you guys, I guys have you know any other questions that I can maybe answer. Maybe that's a better way because I'm I'm not that good like pitching or talking. Hmm. It's my easy it's easier for me to answer questions. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you, you and fine. John, you and John should have uh, uh, a lot to talk about uh, outside of this. Do a one on one, John Marinek. Because he designs kitchens and he can help you and you can help him. Oh, that would be fantastic. I would love to to be able of having, you know, to later like talk to you if you are available. 
uh, I don't know, like, if uh, how can I get uh, his phone number? Maybe I can, you know, like send you a text to see when, what is your availability. Howard will send out a spreadsheet after this with everybody's name and phone number and email. So you'll have a full list of uh, everyone that was on this call. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, John. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> John. John. Uh, okay. Thank, thank you, Amber. And I'm going to double back with Baja now. Uh, if you, anything you want to add or change? Uh, no, I, I think I got everything the first time around um, since I didn't have some practice this morning. Um, but it was just great to hear what everyone does. And I honestly can't wait to you know learn more about your professions and your businesses and kind of <laughs> learn more. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought Pam was here and she disappeared. Uh, I understand that she's made a change of uh, her company. So I was looking forward to hearing about it, but well, I guess we'll wait till next week. Anybody? Let me send me an email. Usually she'll send me an email. Let me look real quick. Yeah, she did. Hold on. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'll have her on in a second. Okay. Okay, what? Well, she sent something, but it's not what you were talking about. So go ahead. Okay. Um, we'll be back on. I see one of our youngest members is on. <laughs> All right. Um, during... This is the future of IT here. here. <laughs> She'll be taking computers apart in no time. I'll <laughs> bet you by, 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 you. Age, by age three. Yay! You got it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I was reading an article and, uh, I was, in addition to having a conversation about what to talk about this week and the two sort of blended together, uh, this article that I, I read, I want to read little pieces of it to you. And the title was the average American hasn't tried a new restaurant in five months according to new research. And I was thinking, let me just read, uh, give you one quick paragraph. Those who stick to their comfort zone said that they stay within the realm of knowledge because they know what they like and they enjoy the comfort that comes with familiarity. And that sort of led me down the path as to uh, if people are, are a creature of habit and Chris and Kevin are probably going to be able to jump on this how how do people who are building a new restaurant or people who are running an existing restaurant knowing this information how do they bring people to your location uh, uh, what do you do? What kind of promotions can you run, particularly uh, this time of year, a seasonal Christmas promotion or something? What can you do to bring people to your location and fight that 60% of the people that are not making any changes? Uh well, Howard, uh, you know, I, I, I'm an I'm an operations guy first, so um, you know, I think marketing programs and incentives and all are great, but they only get you to the front door. You got one chance to win. You know, there's there's research that goes back years that says the average customer has uh, three restaurants that are in their 
um, uh, top, uh, I guess when they talk about going out to eat somewhere, typically there's about three restaurants in the average person's head that are top of mind that they're going to consider. Uh, you know, you're opening up a new restaurant. Um, you always have the opportunity to advertise and market, but you got one shot. Somebody comes to your front door, you got one shot to win them. You got one shot to break into that top three or even their top 10. If you blow it, it takes a tremendous amount of work to get a second chance. That's what all the research and data says. So right. much more so than marketing and advertising, it's handle them right when they come in. Immediate greet, immediate seat. There's so many little things in a restaurant business that you can either do well or, or blow it. Um, great food, hot food, hot cold food, cold, cold uh, high quality, uh, you know, little touches. There's software programs out there, point of sale systems, all kinds of things that clue you in who's a new customer based on what's in your database. Uh, to me, that's the deal. Execute. Flawless execution, win them over. Kevin, you want to add anything to that? Well, you know, you know, when people come into a restaurant, they they, they want to feel comfortable. They want to feel like, uh, like they go into Cheers. You know, so if if somebody's a, a repeat customer, and people in the staff recognize them and recognize the fact that they're there, that all adds to it. But the but the steps before that, you mentioned marketing. Uh, one, somebody in the earlier group mentioned uh, local media when a new place is opening. Uh, that's something that a lot of restaurateurs do not even think about. You can literally, if you're if you're a chef and you worked for somebody for the last ten years and you finally decided to go out and open your own place. That's a bit of a story for a local TV station or a local newspaper. And all you have to do is call them and give them a heads up as to what's going on. And th there's a good likelihood that they'll run with the story because that's something that uh, re restaurants are big news for whatever reason. Uh, uh, and that's under, that falls under the umbrella of public relations that's not advertising advertising yep. is when you put an ad in a local publication and say you know coming soon or uh start a campaign when when it's under construction you know come in and get a free discount card for the for our grand opening or something but it's advertising it's not public relations I had the hardest time figuring that out when I was in college, but I finally got it. The one thing I learned about PR, you got to have the right PR firm that knows how to write the press, the, the public right. service announcement correctly. And it has to be somebody that local media outlets pay attention to and listen to. That's a big deal in terms of actually getting your public service announcement aired. Is I, I I found that in the past many 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 times you using the wrong person they won't pick it up use the right person you're going to get picked up and talked about but you know there, there's two different issues there Howard is how to get them to the front door and how to how to how to convert them to regular customers and I think it's much more important to convert uh, because your lifeblood is going to be regular customers not trial customers that are going to give you a shot and you may or may not get and that are top three. You got to get people, you got to get into their sphere or circle of restaurants they regularly consider. And that means execution and operations once they're inside. If you blow that, they're not coming back, typically. Or they may give you a shot two years down the road. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. Howard, did you let Pam in, please? Yeah, she is there. I was letting her, I got her back up, uh, on, but she just rang, so you got to let her in. I see her. I see her on the, uh, on the board. I'm, a, I'm on. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, why, don't you, why don't you tell us what's going on with you? Uh, I just won $5 million. No, I'm kidding. Of course, I would be working. 
<laughs> I'm Pamela Hewitt, and I'm with Navitas Credit. I have over 20 years experience working with, um, typically I call directly on vendors, manufacturers, or companies that sell some type of products, IT, it can be SaaS. I mean, and I have my own company for about 18 years, so I also specialize in financing of buildings, uh, build-outs, uh, SBA loans. Um, I'm really um, I'm really a full-service lender for, for anyone in our group that might need some working capital or expanding or some computers or your clients. We, I would work to try to get you set up so we could pre-fund 50 to 100% up front at time of your order or selling. And, um, you know, it's almost like you have another employee because I handle, you know, everything regarding the financing for you. Getting, you know, getting the client's uh, application, getting the approved docs out and getting your company funded. You can reach me at 813-531-0654. That's my cell. I won't read my email because you won't be able to write it all down. But if you have any clients that you think are expanding or moving, we also pay a referral fee. And so um, I'm actually going to be emailing you all some end of the year flyers and material, everyone in the group, um, probably over the weekend. So give me a call or email or text me if once you need any information or want me to try to help you close any business for the end of the year. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody else have any comments about what we were talking about? Let me ask there, um, was it Pam? Yes. Um, Pam, do you operate both in the United States and outside the United States? Where Where is your geography? So mainly the United States and Canada for most companies because I also have, you know, backup companies I work with. I, I think one of our underwriters works in maybe um, a few of the, uh, you know, U.S. Um, uh, territories, but I do not believe I have access to like financing in any country. But if you have a country specifically, get with me, of course, and uh, let me check with. I've been in the business a long time. I might be able to find somebody if uh, if I know what you're looking for. But yeah, I was listening to what you were saying. I I really would be a perfect fit to help you put some programs together. For what for what you're offering, and that's sort of you offering that in just the U.S. Or it sounds like you're going international. We're we're, we're all over the world. One, okay. one I asked specifically is this one customer that's wanting to outfit all of their international locations in about eighteen mm. months, and it's that that could be fourteen thousand locations. And well, so that. that's a little and, bit different. Is that a company based out of the United States? So headquarters. It, it in is. Headquarters. Headquarters in the United States, but they have locations. Yeah. You would, I'm not going to name them here, but you would you that's would know them. No, and that's that's a different scenario. That's a scenario where we've got a company based out of the United States. So even though the equipment might be on outside of the United States, we would finance it with the main company. So all the the credit criteria would uh, apply just to the business. So I, I really do think I can help you with that. As a matter of fact, I was on a call with. Uh, one of the banks that I've worked with for many years and that conversation came up yesterday and, and they were clear that if the, the main company is in the United States, yes. If the main company is not in the United States or doesn't have a headquarters in the United States or the owner is not a citizen of the United States or a visa for most companies, then it's a no. But, but for that scenario, I absolutely probably would have a few options for your clients. Let, let's definitely talk. You wanna you wanna talk today? Sure, would love okay. to. Love yep. to. I'll give you. Did I'll you give you a call, or you can call me. And anybody else that's there that's trying to close some business for the end of the year, uh, I, I sent Terry and Howard flyers that show the clients that you know uh, Section One Seventy Nine tax write off. If you don't use it, you lose it. It starts over every year. So let's say bun tying, you've got a client and they haven't spent $2,800,000, but they really want your equipment. One of my flyers is calculated and I'll show them how much they would save 
by buying this year and using the tax write-off because really who wants to pay uncle Sam, if you could invest that money in your business. And we, 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 uh, we've put together uh, programs like six months at 99 or three months, no payments to help companies, even if their budgets or CapEx are expired this year, they can get in, get the equipment, take the tax write off, but start paying in three to six months. So right now that's uh, we're, we're doing really well with that type of program and the reminder of the section 179 tax write off. Cause everybody thinks that all business owners know about all the tax write offs. The reality is most small business owners to you know probably don't know everything. So uh, a lot of my clients about right now will email blast out um, an informative piece on 179. So um, I'll be sending those out to everyone if and uh, give me a call if you have any questions on it. Well, Pam, I just included my phone number in the chat and I know Howard sends it out. I saw Andy. I just saw it come up. Okay, perfect. Uh, do you want me to, when do you want me to yeah. call you in an hour or so? Yeah, give me a call in about an hour. That'd be perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And thank you everybody else for the time for him and I to discuss. And I think we'd be a really good fit for his growth in a number of you, actually. So we'll get it all going for 2024 and kick butt next year, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just saw somebody come join the group on Nancy. I don't know who that is. Nancy C. Are you there? Oh, hi. Sorry. This is uh, Alejandra from Quick POS. I think it just is named after my coworker. I need to change that. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. How are y'all? Good. How are you? Well, why don't you tell us all who you are and what you do and how we can reach you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Alejandra. I'm the marketing manager with Quick POS. Um, we're a POS uh, system mostly for restaurants, uh, like in the restaurant vertical, but we do a little bit of like retail, some small nail salons. We work with like bars and things like that. Um, the main aspect of us is that we're a hybrid system. So we do both the local server as well as cloud, like remote access and we're uh, customer design. So we can adapt to whatever business model and whatever business needs are for our clients. I know you're in Texas, oh, right? Yes. Yeah. We're located oh. in Houston. So our, our meetings are East coast time. So. Uh, oh, we... gotcha. So we started at 11 at East Coast time. So gotcha, I don't want you, gotcha. want you to miss the meeting. No worries. But no tell, worries. Thank you. Uh, tell us uh, how we can reach you. For sure. Um, you can reach me personally at Alejandra Wilhelm at Quick POS. Um, and I can spell that out in the chat because I know my name is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and can we reach you by phone? Yes, absolutely. I'll put that in the chat as well. No, it's just it's 832 787 0680 extension five one two. It's it's really funny because I was just just as you clicked on, I was thinking, where were you? <laughs> and then you popped up. Yeah, I think I had sent an email because I had wanted to confirm I was like what time zone necessarily it is. Um, but yes, yeah, I'm here. No problem. At least you're here. We're glad. For sure. For sure. Thank you so much for having me. Oh. Sure. Did um, anybody have anything else they want to bring up at this point? Uh, and this, okay, this, is, this is Pamela. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I didn't comment earlier when y'all were talking about, you know, the economy and, and what's to be expected next year. And, of course, if, if you read any news, you'll get all kinds of, you know, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But um, to be credit, being almost a billion-dollar company, is owned by a $22 billion bank who does frequent um, calls with us. And I will say, like, uh, about two months ago for the first time, I saw – uh, the upper management in our in our call, they they seem nervous and confused, you know, because banks, you know, blown out a lot of money at low rates and <laughs> rates aren't low anymore. But the news uh, that we've gotten in the last two or three weeks, not just from the bank, but from other uh, financial entities and people I know, is that 
they they do think things are going to be a little shaky for a little while, but not as bad as everyone thought thought that it would, and that uh, we probably will have you know especially you know mid and and I'm not a finance expert, but you know around mid mid time next year, you know hopefully things are, are pretty stable, but. I'm not hearing the, the the doom and gloom that, you know, we've, we've all been hearing on the news now. Um, I'm just hearing that, oh, we're going to hurt a little bit, but but we're going to come out. It's going to be pretty strong next year. We can hope. We can and pray. <laughs> all right. Uh, most people on the board are, are not showing their picture. <laughs> no. Uh, it's, it was weird, but the opposite right. of the Jetsons. Uh, I, I have to add that to one of the rules. You have to show your picture. No. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, All anybody right. else have anything they want to bring up at this point? Yeah. Can I make a quick announcement, please? Sure. Um, January 3rd to January 5th is the Promotional Products Industry Trade Show. This is where I go to a trade show, just like what we had at the restaurant show. And um, I go booth to booth to all the vendors. There are over 5,000 vendors that we deal with, but there's about 700 to 900 vendors that are going to be there. So if anyone is interested in looking for something in particular, or if you're looking for ideas, please email me and I do the shopping for you. That's awesome. Hey, did you did your company by any chance do the um you know uh, the FRLA gave out the sippy cups or whatever? Yes. Did your your company did those? Yes. Okay, I was wondering at the at the uh, restaurant show. Yes. Yeah, the FR, at the FRLA, you know, they in the, their swag bag they had the uh, you know the, the I don't know what you call them, but the, the sippy cups I call them. I was just wondering if, you know, if you did those, because they look good. If you're referring to the ones that I gave out at the trade show, yeah, uh, the restaurant show, yes. Okay. That was me. I have, yeah. I, I, yep, I have one of yours. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I just want, I want to mention that Alejandra <laughs> is our newest member company, Quick, Quick POS, and we welcome you. And uh, I want to thank Amber and Baja for coming this morning. And uh, everybody else, uh, have a great weekend. And we'll see you next week for the last meeting of the year. And if John Mulholland, can you hang around after we stop? And Randy, well, from Randy P, I'd like to talk to you also. Uh, Gabby, have a minute. Yes, uh, sir. So everybody have a great weekend. We're in detention, Randy. Home. And uh, <laughs> let the sauce be with you. Uh -huh.